Hi, I'm Koya Webb, your Healthy Lifestyle Coach, and I'm about to make for you my very own miso carrot dill soup. Yes, it's something I made up when I was trying to come up with a soup. I'm really not a soup girl, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And I ended up putting all these things together, and I absolutely love it. So, um, all you need first is like a high-powered blender and um, some carrot juice. Now, you can juice your carrots yourself in a juicer, but this is a quick recipe. So, I got some organic carrot juice from the store, and actually, this was at Costco. So surprised they're starting to carry organic ingredients and I'm so happy that they're doing that so you just pour this in nice oh, it smells so good carrot juice so you just pour um you know 32 ounces if you have a bit bigger blender than this but it's pretty much a whole bottle and then we're gonna do a half a cup of lemon juice so pour a half a cup of lemon juice in there and then we're gonna put an avocado. Like I said, I love avocado. The avocado is gonna get it, the creaminess in there, giving you lots of nutrients and vitamins. We're gonna put that in there. And now we're gonna put some extra virgin olive oil. And this too is organic extra virgin olive oil. And this too was at Costco. So I'm really, really happy and really pleased with the fact that more of the big grocery stores are carrying organic. It really makes me a happy girl. All right, so half a cup of that. And then we're gonna go with miso mayo. Now, if you haven't heard of this, this is vegan, and it's really good to add that salty, creamy flavor to your dishes. And I love using miso because most people are like, what's that taste? It's something, I can't quite put a finger on it. So I'm just gonna squeeze out almost like maybe a third, one third cup of miso to one half cup. It just depends on how how like, um, how like much of a salty flavor. Cause again, this is like fermented soybean. So you really wanna, what else does it have in here? It has like soybeans and vinegar and garlic and dill and things like that. So look at that. Mmm, can smell it, so yummy. So we're gonna put that in, awesome. All right, and now for our other spices, we're gonna put two tablespoons of Bragg's in, and then we're gonna put two tablespoons of basil, and we're gonna put two tablespoons of oregano. And if you follow my recipes, I pretty much put two tablespoons of everything. It just works for some reason, I don't know. Anyway, so that's it, that's all you have to do. There is your soup all together, and now we're just gonna blend it up. Just takes a little bit, because sometimes if you want the avocado to be kind of chunky, you don't want to blend it that much. Also, if you want to just chop up the avocado and have your soup be really thin and not as thick, you can do that as well. So we are all done. This makes for a really nice, light lunch. Or if you're doing a liquid diet or something like this, this can give you a lot more nutrients, but still it's, it's liquefied. So as you can see, it's nice and thick. Oh, it's the perfect consistency there. And you can see the dill, the oregano, the basil. It just looks really good. It looks really amazing. And if you have like um, a full house of people, this is about seven servings. You can add a little garnish on it. This is just uh, the stems of carrots you can kind of put on there. And there you have it. Your miso carrot dill soup.